generate new images of anyone using one single picture in only a few seconds. It is now possible and today I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, when we scan your air overload and oh boy, finally some good new tech just dropped. Because the new AI project was just released called Instant ID. And it's absolutely mind-blowing. So then, what is Instant ID? Well, Instant ID is a brand new AI project that allows you to generate new images of anyone using a single reference photo. Just upload your image, input a prompt, and then click generate. And then only a few seconds later, you get a brand new image of the person with incredible fidelity and precision. I mean, look at this. This was done without any training, generated in a few seconds from one single picture. I mean, that's incredible. And the tech does not end there, because not only can generate ultra high fidelity realistic images of your subject, but it can also do it in a variety of different styles. With once again absolutely incredible precision and fidelity from just a single photo. I mean, just look at this, this is game changer. And this can also be used for further training, which I'm gonna explain how later. And not only that, but apparently it also works really really well with control net models, which make this tech even more flexible. And the best part is that you can install and use this on your own computer right now. And I'm gonna show you how. Now as of right now, this tech is not currently implemented inside Automatic 11.11, which it will probably be sooner or later, but as of right now, we can actually install locally the Gradient demo and use that right now to generate our images and have some fun with it. So to install Instant ID you have two options. The first is of course by using the one-click installer that I made for my Patreon supporters. Just download the installer onto your computer, double click on it and then it will install and download everything you need to run Instant ID. You don't need to do anything. And in the end you should have two different URL, a local URL and a public URL that you can use on your phone or any mobile devices. So just hold control, then left click and now it's ready to be used. Simple as that. Oh and also don't forget to download the quick launcher for instant ID, just download this on your computer, then put the file inside the instant ID folder. This way each time you want to launch instant ID, you can just double click on the launcher which will then launch the web UI. Simple as that. And the second way to install instant ID is of course the manual way. So the first thing that you need to do if you haven't done it already is download and install Python. So if you haven't done it already, just click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, then scroll down, download the Windows installer 64-bit for Windows, then launch the installer, make sure that you check add Python to path, and then click install now. So the next thing that you need to download and install if you haven't done it already is Git for Windows. So once again, just download the installer, then install it on your computer. So then next, you're gonna create a brand new folder on your computer, you can name it anything you want, then you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter, which will bring the command prompt, window and then inside you're gonna type git clone and then the URL for my GitHub repository. All the links will be in the description down below. And then press enter, which will then clone the repository onto your computer by creating an instead folder. So then back in the command prompt window you're gonna type cd instead, then press enter, then you're gonna type git nfs install, then press enter, then you're gonna type git clone and then the URL for my Hugin Face repository. Once again, everything will be in the description down below. So just copy and paste this, then press enter. So then next, we're gonna create a new virtual environment. So you're gonna type python -m -vnv -env, then press enter. So then we're gonna activate the environment. So you're gonna type env slash scripts slash activate, then press enter. So then next, you're gonna copy and paste this command line, pip install torch torch vision, then press enter, and then wait for everything to be installed. So then once this is done, you're gonna type pip install r slash requirements.txt, then press enter, and once again, wait for everything to be installed. And then once this is done, finally, you're gonna type python app.py, and then press enter. Then once again, wait everything to be finished. And in the end, just like previously, you should get two different URL, a local URL and a public URL. So just hold control, then left click, and lo and behold, now the Gradio demo is ready to be used. Finally, we can have some fun. So then, how exactly do we use this to generate our images? So basically, here you have the explanation. So here in this field, you're gonna upload the face of the subject that you want to clone. So let me choose this image, this photo of a random woman. Here you're gonna input a reference pose image. That's basically gonna take some inspiration to create the new image. Here you're gonna input your prompt. So like for example, a woman cowboy wearing a hat. So here you have a bunch of style templates that you can choose from. I also created a few templates for you that you can choose from. So you have like watercolor, line art, Victorian graffiti, steampunk, cyberpunk, etc, etc. Or you can also choose no style at all. It's really up to you. So like for example, if I choose something like like, I don't know, uh, like line art, for example. Then here you have identity net strength and image adapter strength. Now you should definitely play with 
those parameters, if you're not happy with the final image, then here under advanced options, you're going to input any negative problems that you want, exactly like inside stable diffusion. Then you can input the number of sample steps. The default is 30, which is more than enough, as well as the guidance scale, then the seed, an option to randomize the seed or not, and finally an option to enhance a known face region. So like for example, if I leave everything by default and I just click submit after around like 25 seconds, it generates me this absolutely beautiful image. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic because I mean, look at the quality and precision of the image and how clear and recognizable the face is when looking on the reference. I mean, this is really, really cool. I mean, this was done without any training, with like only one single image. And you can, of course, like, choose a different style. Like, for example, I want no style at all. Then click submit. And we get something like this, which is, I mean, absolutely fantastic. This is a great image, which, by the way, is an amazing idea. If you want to make some gift for your family and friends, just like use this software to like generate new images of your friends in only a few seconds in like in a different style or wearing different clothes. I think this is some really cool stuff. Oh, and also, like, if you want to change, for example, like, the aspect ratio of the image, in this case, you should probably upload a reference image right here. So, like, for example, if I upload this image, which is more like a 16 by 9 ratio, so if I put it right here, I'm actually gonna keep the exact same seed just to see the difference and without changing anything if now I click submit we basically get something like this which is indeed kind of like a mix between our original image and our reference pose image in the way that now we have the same aspect ratio as our reference image right here but we also have here a similar angle compared to the image that we had before so like for example this was before using only our reference image of the subject and this is the after so yeah I mean this is really cool stuff and you can of course like play a little bit with the parameters change the strength a little bit and see what kind of results you get. So like here, for example, I decrease the fidelity. So the final image does not look exactly like our base image, although there is still a little bit of resemblance. And for the image adapter strength, it seems like there's also a little bit more details into the image, like it seems a little bit sharper compared to the previous image. So yeah, I mean, definitely try to play a little bit with the parameters, see what you like, see what works for you or not, and really just have fun with it. I mean, this tool is really ultra powerful for creating new images of your subject in only a few seconds. Oh, and also here is a little trick for you. If you remember correctly, a few months ago, I made a LoRa training video where I show you how to train a new LoRa model for stable diffusion using your own custom images. But ever since I made that video, I received pretty much the same question on Patreon all the time, which is the fact that some people want to train a LoRa of a person, but unfortunately they don't have a lot of images of that person. And since you need like at least 10, 15, 20, images minimum to get a decent training, up until now this was not possible. However, if now you use Instant ID to generate new images of that character, you could now use those new generated images for the LoRa training. Because now you could generate like 10, 20, 30 images of your subject and use those images for LoRa training. So that in the end you get a LoRa file that you can use inside Stable Diffusion. So yeah, that's pretty cool. However, that being said, if this technology gets implemented inside Stable Diffusion and automatic in Evan 11, well, maybe that soon in the near future, we might not have to use LoRa to train faces anymore. And we would just use Instant ID to to generate new images of our subject. So yeah, if this tech gets implemented correctly, this would be fantastic. And for this, I really cannot wait. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have any GPU at all, or if you just don't have a computer, I actually prepared for you a Google Colab doc that you can use right now. Now, unfortunately, you might have to spend for the Google Colab Pro subscription because it needs a lot of VRAM to run. And usually, like, the free account is not enough. Although, sometimes, for some reason, it does work. So, I mean, you can just try it out yourself. So, to use it, just run each cell one after the other. Then, choose the public URL, as I said right here. And then, use it as if you would, as if this was on your local computer. Now, if this doesn't work for you, you can also try, like, the official Gradio demo. But, unfortunately, it is often unavailable because a lot of people are using it on the same time. But if you don't have a computer or a GPU, you can also use this to test the technology. So yeah, this was Instant ID, the new tech for generating new images of your subject from a single reference image. And all of that running locally on your computer. Also, do not forget that I provide priority support on Patreon, so if you have any issues whatsoever with the software, do not hesitate to send me a DM 
and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. So that being said, try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we are folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.